Welcome back everyone, I'm the Boy Chicken, and this is more Star Tropics. And last time, uh, we had gone to this place, which, which is Shikola, the land of warrior women. And they were all like, don't come in here, you're a dude. And then we found a fortune teller, and she's all like, I can tell you how to get in, provided you can find my crystal ball, which inexplicably I lost on, in Ghost Village. Ghost Village, which is like this tiny spit of land out in the middle of nowhere. What was she doing here? Anyway, so we gotta go in here. Um, I, I, you know, I obviously teased this last time, but this is gonna be a dungeon. This is the Ghost Dungeon, which is, um, would you say it's the first point where it starts getting hard? Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's the first part where it starts really getting really tricky, because there's a particular enemy type in here, which is a painted- oh. And there are cute little tiny animal skeletons. What are these? They're aggressive- Skeletal dogs, I guess. Uh, I don't know, but um, there's an enemy type in here, which is very annoying. There are also a lot of like darkness puzzles in here, which is which are also annoying. And there's skulls. Look at them hop. Look at them hop. What are they doing? I guess they're just patrolling. I'm gonna go down here first. Get you skeletons. Oh, it's dead puppies. Um, moving on. Let's see. Uh, what's this do? Oh, it makes a button. All right. What does the button do? Now, there are a ton of places in here. Well, I'll just show you. Okay, so I go up here, I'm like, oh, there's a door. I'll go up here, oh, no. And it plays the, you know, ear-splitting uh, bonus room music, and you can't, you can't exit. There's no buttons from here. So what you have to do is you just have to leave. You basically just have to leave and start the dungeon over. There are a lot of those in this dungeon, and it's very annoying. I mean, after you, after you deal with the first couple, you're like, okay, I'm not going to believe any of these doors I'm finding, because none of them are going to help me in any way. And it is kind of nice that they give you, like, two hearts when you do it. So if you're low on health, you can actually just find a fake exit and heal yourself. But most most of the uh, way forward in this particular dungeon is blowing holes and things. So we're going to have to do a lot of that. Uh, so I gotta... Oh, uh, wait, no. That's not gonna tell me anything. I gotta go back this way. Gotta go back this way. Sorry, I forgot. I just did this and I already forgot. Die! Again, you skeletal monster. There's another one, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. You, other one, also die. Let's see. I guess this is a, that doesn't blow a hole in the wall, it just opens the door, but this is where we need to go. So, there's, a, there's an enemy type in here, which is in this room, and I will probably be hurt by it, because I cannot see it. There is an item which provides you with vision, and, um, well, I kind of thought I'd get hit by one. Uh... There we go. See, I told you. There are invisible enemies in this room. <laughs> I I had to show that I wasn't lying. Oh, and then there are these mummies. These guys take a ton of hits. Oh, oh, so many hits, and they do so much damage if they actually catch you. There's like freaking Gibdos. Get out of here. <laughs> so you have to kind of like, you have to just be careful with the way you approach them. They also walk across um, like the little square tile bri uh, blocks. So you can't even hide from them on that. You have to just keep. Keep dodging around them and hitting. This, this is the first dungeon, I would say, where they really test your ability to deal with the strange movement in Star Tropics. And we have more invisible enemies, so I'm just gonna go. Ow, there's, there was one. I found one. Ow, I found another one. Ow, I found another one. Jeez. Da -da 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 -da. Ow, I need that item. Oh, and of course it's a, you know, it's a limited use item because nothing in Star Tropics is easy. Um, the only thing you get for free is your yo-yo. Uh, let's see. I'm sure that one of these is a button. One of these must be a button. I need to find the button. Um, but yeah, there, the, uh, there, there's an item which provides sight, and actually, I was thinking about it, <laughs> you guys may not actually be able to see it. I may just have to point out where it generally is, uh, on, on the, uh, the footage, because it, you know, like, w w with these, with these capture devices and, like, old NES stuff, sometimes things blink at such a rate that you can't actually pick it up with the recording device. So we'll see. Um, is that the only way? Okay, so yeah. So you can see again, there's another one of those fake outdoors down there. If I went down there, I would have to leave the dungeon and come back. So I will go this way instead. And in here we find probably more invisible enemies. Maybe, probably. Uh, well, I cannot move forward and that means, ow, that means that the item that provides me with sight must be around here somewhere because I probably need to kill everything in that room for, to get it. Um, 
And uh, uh, once again, I mentioned earlier that this is the first really super super tricksy dungeon. You can see this looks like one of those fake out rooms we saw earlier. However, this slug holds a secret. You look right next to him, you can see there's like a little bit of black right there, indicating that this is a secret passage. You know, it's, I can't remember who it was that was talking about this, but um, it is sort of funny how like that wouldn't be hidden at all to Mike. He just sort of have walked forward and see like this huge gap in the wall and be like, oh, I wonder if I should go through here. But like to us, you know, because it's a video game, it doesn't look like anything. Anyway, moving, moving on, moving on. All right, so there are invisible enemies in here. I seem to recall I have to come back here to do something or another. But for right now, I will just move forward. Let's see what we got. What we got in here? We have um a little volcano. Hello, little volcano. What are you doing, little volcano? Just shooting little tiny red pellets at me. Um, it looks like it shoots the, shoots a new one. Well, I was going to say, it looks like it shoots a new one every time. Oh. So I mentioned in the previous episode that there was a particularly deceptive trap with those bloop, bloop, bloop uh, tiles. It's in this room. So you, you come into this room, you can just briefly see that there are like skulls and bones floating in the water, and you see there's a tile in the middle you have to jump on, and then you start hearing the bloop, bloop, bloop noise, and you're like, oh no, I gotta somehow time this in the dark. How am I gonna do it? And in fact, it's it's a, it's in the it's in the next room. Basically, you can hear the bloop, bloop from the next room, and uh, yeah, Star Tropics is just messing with you. Star Tropics is just messing with you. It's just one of those kind of one of those kind of games that's just like, hey, 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 I'm gonna do this to mess with my audience. Hey, 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 hey. It's like, darn you, Star Tropics. Darn you and your tricksiness. All right, darn you, mummies. I really don't want to get hit by one of these yet. I think they do like maybe two hearts of damage, maybe three hearts of damage, way more than you can really tank right now. So I gotta be careful with these little guys. All right, I guess I'll move forward. Now, as with as with so many games I play on this channel, um, I play this as a kid. That does not guarantee that I remember where everything is. <laughs> uh, there is a lot that I probably do not remember about this game, and it probably starts right around here. You know, I, like I remember those first two dungeons or the first two chapters pretty well. You know, I mean that's that's about as far as you would play in like one sitting, which is usually what you would do. You know, you sit down, you play for one sitting and you're sort of like, "Okay, I've got the experience. I remember what Star Tropics is like. I don't need to play anymore." Um All right, not this is not the item that Wait. Wait, I have it. Oh my god, you guys. That's the item that provides sight. When did I get this? When did I get show when I got this? Thank you. <laughs> Where did I get that? Okay, well, I'll use it. So, if I use this item, there are ghosts. Let's say, okay, okay, they're they're frozen when I'm when the uh, screen's paused. So they might dis yeah they might disappear after that. But yeah, I can't believe I got that. I just didn't notice. What the heck? Um, so you can see these little ghosts. I think they're called Moxies, if I remember correctly. I don't know why, but I think that's what they're called. Um, and oh. The, Nice little bonus room. Okay, I'll take it. Um, anyway, so I got two items. I got the Rod of Sight, which is on the left. I've got the Lantern, which is in the middle. And I've got a Health Potion now, Water Life. Um, the the Rod of Sight, which I stupidly missed when I got. I guess I was just yammering on like I always do. Um, will allow you to see ghosts. And the Lantern will light up dark rooms. So now that I have the lantern, I can go back to that room with the deadly bloop bloop trap and see what's going on in there. Uh, okay. Um, it's such a deceptive trap. Darn you, Star Tropics. Alright, so what do we got? Yep, there are bones in the water. This has definitely claimed the lives of many an adventurer, but you can see... Oh, I actually forgot that the lantern went out. Okay, so I can walk through here. And use another lantern. And get another rod of sight. Still can't believe I just missed that I did that I already had had one. Alright, so I think I can go down here. I'm not I'm not gonna take any chances. Let's see. Light up please, thank you. Alright, that, 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 that. See here's the blue blue. Alright, so 
Lantern! Uh, Alright. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, we're good. Trixie, Trixie, Star Tropics. So what's in here? In here we have... Um... Scary, scary hand! Okay. Uh... I probably have to kill it. Alright, uh, which means I need to get to it. Uh, whoa! Uh, da 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 da! Oh, there's another one. Alright, da 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 da! Oh, good. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. I bet it would have hurt if I got hit, though. Deadly Skull! You have entered Deadly Skull Room! Uh, I guess I need to open the open the door. Um... Ah, uh, mummies! Uh, y you. No, 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 not fire. Uh, oh, jeez. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Kill the other mummy. Kill the... Ow! Kill the other... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> no! mummy, no! Uh... It didn't open the door! Oh, gosh! Um... <laughs> where do I go? Okay, that, that's fine. Alright, just to, just avoid the avoid the shots. Go in here. What do we find? We find... Oh! Deadly hand! Um... I guess... Oh, okay. You! Die! Okay. Another one. Alright, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Um... Okay. Must be a button. Button, button, who's got the button? There we go. And this does... That just opens the door. So this is a trap room. Hang on. Rod of sight. Okay, yes, it's just a trap room, so... Guess I missed what I was supposed to do? Uh, oh, the mummies are back. Oh, wait, I see it. Okay, now this... Once again, Trixie Trixie Star Tropics, you might come in here and you're like... You know, you, you kill the mummies like I did, and you, you go through the trap room and you don't know what to do, and you're like, Oh, what am I supposed to do? And briefly see there's a little line at the top. You jump. Yep. Usually you can't do that, but there are a couple of places in the game where you can, <laughs> and this is one of them. So tricky, so tricky. Uh, now I gotta kill these skeletal puppies. Come here, skeletal puppers. I will kill you, skeletal puppers. And I will move on. Um, and more of these mummies. So, I remember, uh, at first I was like, oh, I'll just stand on the little... Oh, I'll just get this clock. But I was like, I'll stand here. They can't get on these platforms. No enemy's been able to really yet, unless they were jumping. And the, no, they'll just walk through it. Just walk over it. They're like, what? Do you think I can't stand on a stone tile? I mean, I may be a mummy, but geez, give me some credit, right? Moving on, moving on. Um, well, I want that, but I also want any other secrets that there might that might be here. So I will hop on all of these. <laughs> Mike might just want he spends his days hopping on things. Um. All right, must be invisible. Whoop! There we go. It's worth it. It's worth it to find him. Um, I bet you this will blow the door open. Yep. All right, that's probably the way I have to go. So let's try the other way first, because as we know, say it with me, goggle. <laughs> eh, it's a trap room. Of course it is. Um, oh, with deadly throwing hand. All right, deadly hand. I kill you. I kill you. I kill you. You are not a wall master. You are just a hand throwing yellow pellets. Oh, that that's actually useful. Okay, I'll take that. So, hang on. I'll use that. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you never know. You never know. That, that, that's... I mean, they give you that item in this dungeon because you have to use it a lot, you know? Because there's a lot of places where you need to use it. But it's also kind of like... It gets frustrating after a while. You're like, I don't want to keep using this. Just let me see the ghosts. Why can't I just... When I find it, I can just use it. Where are the ghosts? There are the ghosts. Okay, I'll kill them now. Die. Die. Like, I mean, it's really useful in, in rooms where, um, like, it, it's a cool puzzle technique. Like, you might come into a room where you can see some of the enemies, but then you can't see all of them, and, so you're, and you kill all the enemies, and you're like, oh, how do I open up the door? And then, you know, secretly, oh, there's a hidden ghost. That's cool. Or, like, a situation where, you know, there's, like, um, oh, I found a card. I found a shiny card. I have 80 shiny cards. Cool. Um, you find a room where it's like, you're taking damage, you don't- Oh, it's whiz robes! Um, oh, it's a mirror. Ha ha! Ow. I can't hold it out. Hang on. Ha ha! Take that, Karak! Uh, okay, hang on. Ha ha! Aggressive mirror! 
Aggressive mirror! Cool. That's actually pretty fun. I, I, I like that. I mean, it's annoying that you can't hold it out because it's harder, but it's also probably more fun in terms of combat. So, I'm okay with that. This is a lot of mummies. This is a, They could definitely surround me. Okay. Uh, uh, I kind of want them all in one place. Um, the deadly mummy train! The deadly mummy train! <laughs> Mike's like, why did I decide to come here for spring vacation? Why? I could have stayed in Seattle. Why did I come here? <laughs> the deadly mummy train! I mean, this is, this is pretty surreal. Like, I mean... This is, the, you know, Star Tropics is a game that takes place in, like, modern day, well, modern day of the, you know, early 90s. But, um, but basically modern day. Mike's just wandering around killing, killing mummies with a, with the yo-yo. His life is strange right now. <laughs> What's it could be like when he goes back to Seattle and he's just sort of like, Yeah, I remember that time I was killing mummies with... With a yo-yo. Man, that was weird. Glad I was an ace pitcher, though, or I would have been in trouble. Let's see if there's a thing in here. Anything? See, there's a ghost. Let's see if this ghost gives me something. Die. See, there, I would have missed that. Uh, and I bet it is a bonus room. See, that's kind of cool. I mean, that was like, you know, you, you, the door had opened, and this is an unnecessary room, so they hit it by having a ghost. That's fine. That's a good usage of it. But when it's a room like that one I, met, I found earlier, where it was just like a... You know, it was just an empty room and you couldn't figure out how to move forward. And you're like, oh, okay, I probably just need to kill ghosts. That's a little less fun. Let's see here. Hit the switch. Click. There we go. And I think I'm actually almost to the end of the... Oh, whiz robes! Um, let's see. That one, yeah. Alright, um... Ow! Ha ha! Ha ha! Um, I mean, it's kind of fun. It, it is kind of fun to, like, reflect them back. Ha ha! It's a very much a haha -ha moment. Hang on. Uh, there he is. Haha! -ha! I think that's probably all of them. Also, I got this like jump rope thing. I didn't even comment on that. Ha ha! But I need to keep those. Now, this next boss, the boss of this dungeon. I do remember this. You can actually put yourself in an unwinnable state if you were not careful against the next boss. It's difficult to do, honestly, but you can do it. You can get yourself in an unwinnable state if you are not careful. Also, I didn't know that that was there. That actually makes me kind of happy because if you also if you don't have a rod of sight, you can't fight the boss. So you enter here. The music hasn't changed. It's still like the regular do 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 song. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? There are many volcanoes. What am I supposed to do? And then you're like, oh yeah, this is the ghost dungeon. There's a ghost. There's a big old ghost. So the only way you can attack this guy um, is by th or by throwing these, these like, I think they're bolas, I think is what the game calls them, at him. And if you screwed up and run out, you just have to kill yourself. There is literally no other way to, well, let's see, can I attack him over here? Let me see if this works. So I'm gonna stand over here. Okay, no, you can actually attack him from there. So that's something I didn't know as a kid. I thought you only, you could only attack him with the bolas. So that, you know, whenever I see things like that, whenever I find out that, that an unwinnable state is not, in fact, an unwinnable state, it kind of makes me a little bit happier because I feel like unwinnable states are a mistake, honestly. Like, I know that, you know, with a lot of adventure games, they were used as a way to make sure that the, you know... Oh, he's going, he's going crazy now. Okay, he's dead now. Um, looks kind of cool when he's, like, shaking back and forth. <laughs> But yeah, I know that unwinnable states were used as kind of a way to, um, kind of a way to find hidden ghosts. Very important. Unwinnable states to find hidden ghosts. Apparently there's no reason to kill him. Or hit him with a yo-yo. I don't know how you kill a ghost, but anyway. Um, like, I know they were used as sort of a way to make sure that you were paying it. Oh. It's the freaking skull from Uninvited. Um... Hello, sir. This was not the happy exit the dungeon, go find the crystal ball I was expecting. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, am I gonna have to fight this? Uh, um, water? Uh, okay. Water? Ooh. Uh, uh am I gonna drown? Am I gonna drown? Is this a problem? Uh,. 
I have filled this small pool. Oh, it was the lake. I was draining the lake. Wow, you've done it! We really had our doubts! Now save your data. Refrain from turning power off or resetting. Good luck! Look, the pond has dried up. And this blue jelly bean looking thing is actually a crystal ball. Yay! It doesn't even look like a crystal ball. It looks like a blue jelly bean. I got a freaking blueberry jelly bean. Alright, we're going to take this back to the uh, fortune teller and then I'm probably going to quit it because I think I'm up, up against time. But... but first, we must walk down there. Moving along, moving along. But yeah, so on, on Winnable States, I mean, I know that they were using a lot of adventure games to make sure that you were sort of paying attention while you were doing things. But... Um, I don't know, I just... I never liked them. I never liked the idea that you can forget to do something or not know to do something and ruin your entire experience. I just... I don't like it, so... I always like when I find out that th that something I thought was an unwinnable state isn't. So we gotta walk along here... Got this sweet blue jelly bean. We're gonna bring it over here. The fortune teller, she'll tell her fortune. I don't know how that's gonna help us, but presumably she will. Hello! Oh my goodness, you have my crystal ball! Please give it back to me! You give it back to her. This isn't a crystal ball, it's a blue jelly bean, but I'm back in business, thank you. You want to enter Shikona, don't you? I know just what we need to do. Okay, just wait, will you? Um. Oh. <laughs> You sure look silly dressed up like a girl, but it may work. By the way, let me read your fortune. <laughs> so, so I got I, I got the I got the standard fortune telling package of uh, make you a transvestite and then tell your fortune. Oh, in the crystal ball, I can foresee risking life and limb, a bridge over troubled water, struggling to escape. Oh, some evil mystic powers from a star far, far away. I'm sure those powers are controlling the monsters in the dark below. Oh, omens of disaster! I can't continue. Oh me, oh my. None of that was really consequential, honestly. Fortune favors the brave, so don't, ma don't mind me. Now let's enter Shikola. Alright. In the next episode, Mike will learn things about himself he never knew. I'm the Boy Chicken. Thanks for stopping by.